Hello everyone, welcome to GradeUp. My name is Ayush Goel and now we are studying with data structure, right? So now we will be providing a series of videos on the subject data structure, right? As we have provided for algorithm, same pattern will follow in data structure. Check out the link below for free gate course that has more than 200 videos along with this video followed by doubt sessions, previous paper and more than 250 quiz from Greta. Okay, we'll upload the videos topic by topic. In every video, you'll find a topic, you'll find a new topic, right? So now, data structures. As I have said to you, algorithm and data structures are the base of computer science. Base. If you know these subjects well, then you are very good in computer science, right? So please clear your concepts with in these two topics. As we have done algorithm now, so now we start with data structure, right? Data structure is very important from programming point of view also. If you want to learn programming, then you should know the basic data structures that are available in your system, okay? So this subject very important from your programming point of view. This subject very important from your gate exam point of view. Every time near about approximate 10 to 12 marks exam paper comes from your this subject programming and data structures, right? So there if you can score 100% then it will be very good and you can score 100% in this subject. It is very easy to score. If you study properly, if you practice properly, you will surely secure 100% marks in this subject, okay? And in your interviews, in your PSU interviews, data structures are asked maximum number of times, maximum number, right? So that's why this subject is very important in computer science, okay? So now we'll be starting with data structures and this is the first introductory video on data structures. In this, we'll see what do you mean by data structure and what are the topics we are going to cover in our upcoming videos, okay? So let us start. Let us start with beginning. First of all, see what are the previous year trends, what are the previous year trends of data structure. In your recent 2018, it was asked for 9 marks. In 2017, see, even 14 marks for, even 14 marks from this subject is being asked, right? So it is very important. 12 and 11, right? Again, 3 sets, 7, 11, see here, 18. In 2015, asked for 18 marks. So near about one fifth of the paper directly came from your programming and data structure, okay? So that's why you can conclude approximately 10 to 12 marks come from programming and data structures, okay? And too much complex question never comes. Question comes from average point of view, okay? You just apply to, you just apply brain and you will get the answer, okay? So now. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Up. So best book for data structure is same as for algorithm, Corman. Okay. This book we referred in algorithm also. This book will be applied for data structures also. Okay. Same book will be there. Either its name is introduction to algorithm, but it also consists all the concepts in data structure also. But it don't consist programming. It consists array, linked list, trees, it consists everything, but it doesn't have programming. So for programming, you can refer Dennis Ritchie, right? Dennis Ritchie. This book is very good. There are more books available for programming. Like you can see, let us see, right? More, more books are there, but this book is strictly according to your gate pattern, gate standard, right? So you can refer this book for practicing more question, Dennis Ritchie, for specifically for programming. I'm not saying for data structure. This book is exclusively for programming, right? So there are two major books, Corman and Dennis Ritchie. You can refer both the books for data structures, okay? So now we know where to study, when to study. Now we are beginning with data structures. Now forget everything, all the schedules you are having and please concentrate on data structure. In our next 20 to 25 videos, we'll specifically focus on data structure, okay? So please study with me. Try to make short notes, as we have also said previously, try to make short notes, right? Suppose in this lecture there is nothing much, but in our next lecture we'll start with programming. So try to make short notes on programming. That will help you to revise subject better. 
at the time of revision you don't have to view the whole video again right you just revise those short notes got it so make a habit of making short notes please make a habit and practicing just after finishing the video right so let us start first of all what is the data structure right guys data structure is basically nothing but just organizing your data you want to store your data in your system you want to store your data in your system so you need a data structure who will store your data right see here a data structure is a specialized way for organizing and storing data right data structure is basically a way of storing your data right so that one can perform operations on it operations like insert delete update and so on read guys okay so these are the operations available on a data right so what is the data structure now guys what is data structure data structure is a way of storing and organizing your data into your system got it right now data structure is all about how to represent data elements how to represent data elements in your system what relationship data elements have among themselves right okay what is the relation between data elements and how to access data how to access data it is very simple it is very simple suppose you have 20 books with you you have 20 books you want to arrange somewhere you want to keep them safe so you want a bookshelf or not you want a bookshelf or not same thing you have a data with you you want to store in a very safe manner what do you require a data structure clear right and what are the data structure we have suppose arrays linked list trees stack queue right these all things are available to us okay so we'll study them one by one now see i have written also data structure built in data structure means that are already present in your system integer float character pointer then user defined array linked list right trees stack queue graph don't think much about sir what is mean by graph what do you mean by tree what is queue what is stack we'll discuss everything in detail we'll discuss right first of all i'm telling what are the types okay so now now we are moving on to the topics that we are going to discuss in our programming and data structure the topics we will study in programming we'll study these main topics we'll study these main topics okay some keywords then functions and recursion then pointers and then parameter passing okay so we'll study these topics in our programming then we'll move on to arrays and linked lists these are known as the basic data structures these two are known as the basic data structures so we'll discuss them on detail next next we'll come to stack and queue right suppose if i say na 10 questions come from data structure if i say 10 questions come from data structure guaranteedly 4 to 5 question guaranteedly will come from this section guaranteedly at least 4 questions will come from stack and queue every time so very important topic and then graph will study graph okay and then we'll move on to the last topic that is trees some kinds of tree binary tree binary search tree avl tree right we'll study all these things we are going to study all these things in our upcoming video got it so this is the first introductory video on our data structure right guys so now as we have studied algorithm same manner we will study data structure in same manner exactly same so i advise you i advise you just after viewing the video just after viewing practice the questions right practicing will make you perfect please believe on it please believe on this statement right i have seen some guys that don't are so much strong in their basic but after practicing so much they are so good that they are able to get under 100 rank in your gate exam and your psu exams also like you know where there are very less seats in your psu exam for computer science but still people go there and how people go there by honestly preparing for those exams suppose if you are preparing for gate prepare honestly if you are preparing for isro prepare honestly and honestly preparing means prepare all the subjects well data structure consists comprises 10 to 12 marks so it becomes very important 
you have to honestly prepare for that and how to prepare first clear your concept clear your concept from anywhere i am not saying just view these videos anywhere you want to study programming study from anywhere you want first view these lectures then refer the textbook then you can search google also for any doubt you can post on the app for any doubt right first be clear with the concept then practice now you will be thinking from where to practice you can practice first from the app there are many questions available on app then you must be having some study material with you practice from there if you are not having practice from standard book solutions are available for every standard book on internet just type it and find it okay so practice from standard books practice from your study material and everything you have then move on to test series right purchase any of the test series in there are many test series in markets purchase any of the test series and then evaluate yourself right suppose you have completed programming suppose now when you give the test you will see what are your mistakes where are you lacking then study that topic and improve yourself okay in this way day by day day by day you will improve yourself don't think you will need a single day for preparation guys you need at least at least 200 days for your gate preparation if you are aiming for a good rank then you need at least 200 days and in that 200 days you have to give your 100 percent you have to give right if you want to succeed in your life you have to prepare 200 days in 100 percent got it so i advise you stay updated to these videos get all the topics cleared i'll touch each and every topic of data structure i'll not leave a single thing right so kindly stay updated to these videos all the best for your exam right thank you